Thank you again for joining me for another session of Move Your Body and Speak English. I think that it's way more fun to learn English while you're moving your body than to sit and, and just focus really hard on learning. So that's why I'm, I'm doing these videos to hopefully make English easier and more fun. It is for me at least. So we've been um, in the last weeks looking at synonyms. Uh, and now we're going to look at something opposite a synonym, which is an antonym. So that means words that are opposite in meaning. They're really different. Let's have a look at some. So here we have an image of a bowl, a blue bowl, a yellow bowl, and this bowl has food in it, and this one doesn't. This bowl is full. It's full. This bowl is empty. The blue bowl is empty. The yellow bowl is full. It's full of food. Could be popcorn, could be rice. This is water. We have a cork and a bottle. It looks like it's a glass bottle. Here we also have a glass bottle, but the cork is in a different place. It's sealed. The bottle is sealed. And this bottle is not sealed because the cork is up here. We could say this bottle sinks. The bottle sinks to the bottom of the water. And the opposite of sink is float. This bottle with the cork in it floats. Sink and float. The cork floats, but the bottle sinks. Here I have a bowl of water. And, and in my hand, I have some garbanzo beans. It's, it's always good to, to um, soak them overnight. So when you cook them, they're more digestible. And we can see that the garbanzo beans sink. They sink to the bottom. Opposite of sink is this. If I put this jar of sesame seeds, if I put some of the sesame seeds in, pour them in to the water, you can see that they float. The sesame seeds float on top there of the water. We've seen this image before in some other um, session. And if you recall, we call this a hare. It's similar to a rabbit, but it's a hare because it's got long ears. So here we have a hare. And here we have two hares. This hare. is above ground. 
above ground. And the other hairs are below ground. They're below ground. Here's the ground. This animal's on top, above, and, and these animals are below ground. Now's the fun part to do movement. So let's, um, let's imagine that we have a really, that we ate a lot of food and we have a very full stomach. So we're gonna make this movement, just watch me. So I'm, I'm inhaling and I'm making my belly very big. And then I'm exhaling and I'm making it empty. My stomach makes a lot of noise doing that. Um, okay, so that was full and empty. Let's do some floating. So let's just move our whole body in a floaty way as if we're floating on top of the water. You can move your hips, shoulders, fingers, elbows, head, just float. It's kind of like dancing, but you can think of floating. Ah, you can make some sounds. Ah, let go of any tensions. Ah. And now we're going to sink. So hold our nose. We're going to pinch our nose with our fingers. Again. Let's change hands. So pinch our nose. And we're going to go underwater and sink. Again. Okay, now let's place our hands above our head and below the head. Place our hands above our head and below. And again. Above and below. Now let's place our hands below our navel. So the navel is, is the belly button right there. Let's place our hands below the navel and above the navel. Below the navel, above the navel. We're placing our hands below the navel and above the navel now. And below the navel, A little faster. You can bend your knees and stop. And our hands are still above the navel, which is here. And now let's place them below. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Bye now.